I think that there is no escape on if you're not an artist, then you know you're doing nothing in the creative industry. Like they won't take your job seriously unless you're famous or you're doing something. Hi, my name is David and uh, I'm the project lead for the group Ascribed. Uh, my role in this group is to manage and ensure that we get people ascribed to their credits. So Ascribed started off as a platform to basically empower those who weren't getting enough credit for working in the creative industry. Uh, there's a lot of us, uh, whether it be people in the audio field or design or film or events for that matter. People who do a lot of technical stuff, uh, creative stuff to, that do not get enough credit for what they do and for the hard work that they put in. So the mission and vision of Ascribed, you could say, is to ensure that more than 50% of people working in industry do actually get accredited for the work that they do and uh, people overall just uh, are happy. My team members and I, we decided to come up with a documentary that showcases why people in the creative industry are struggling and to highlight all the issues that they face and to have them share their experiences of not getting credit for whatever work that they do. So audio being my major, I decided to come up with an album, a Christian album by genre. And this basically features eight songs written by my friend Hannah Verghese and produced by me and a few of my other friends here at SE. It also features a live song that has many people that work behind the scenes. And by having the live song, we could show the actual real-time production that goes behind making a music video and doing a live sound recording. So when I create music, I try to invoke people's feelings and emotions. And one genre cannot simply help a person feel many emotions. So the reason why we have eight songs with eight different, well, eight almost different genres is that there will be one song that speaks to one person that listens to it, you know? So I guess creating that music and watching them experience and uh, give, uh, watching them emote to the music that I've made is what makes me feel complete when I create my music. Um, I think a lot of people don't know what goes on behind film, um, audio. Everyone always sees the final product or the artist and thinks everything came from that one place. Whereas there's hundreds and thousands of people behind the scenes pulling cables to mixing to color grading um, who all contribute to the final product. So I, I think it's just a lack of education rather than I guess discredit or not getting credit for your work. Being new in the industry, um, I started working well, while I was still studying and like, finishing university. Um, and so being new in the industry and something um, something that I think I face as an issue is um, trying to prove your point, I guess. Um, you're starting out, you're new, uh, you you're trying to you know you're trying to learn and do things at the same time um, and so you might not always have the right answers but you have something that you might want to work with but it's difficult trying to convince people who have already been in the industry and uh, everybody has their opinions that's the that's the 
that's the con to this you know creative industry because everyone has an opinion and nobody will necessarily like agree with you so trying to prove your point is something um, that is a little difficult but you have to work with it to work like you know in your team this one time I went to perform at a place and uh, so this this industry is largely male dominated uh, and I wouldn't personally I haven't faced a lot of uh, prejudice being female professional but um, there was this one time that I went to perform at a place as, as a singer not even as an engineer I went to perform and uh, this person there was handling the sound and I said hey I'm an engineer can I help you out with something and he just went on to ignore me through the through the whole event and um, he was like uh, he didn't he didn't really pay you know heed to the fact that I was an engineer he gave me um, he gave me unnecessary advice, asked me why I didn't bring a cable along um, when I gave my requirements. <laughs> Too much in detail. Um, he, he basically didn't you know, really respect me as an engineer. I, mean, I, I felt kind of disrespected as an engineer um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's, it's all about your knowledge. So, you know, if, you're, if you do something that you're distinguished in, I don't, it's already protected by itself. So you're already protecting your own thing. If you know how to do something that others can do, it's just you're protecting your own rights. So let's say, for example, if if you know how to operate a camera that someone else doesn't know how to do, you're already protecting your own rights because others do not know. It's the same for us. If I know how to mix something a specific way or if I know how to record something or set up something in my own way, you know, I'm already protected because no one can do the same job you do like perfectly and then they would come and ask you for a specific thing because you know how to do it. As a creative, understand your rights, understanding that your creative or intellectual property is worth something. When you're actually really good at what you do and if people look at that aspect, they will appreciate whatever you have done. Even though it's subconscious, they might not, a common man might not know how mixing is done or how recording is done. They will listen to it and say, oh, this sound sounds better th than this. It's a subconscious thing. And when that happens, I think the composer or whoever will pick that up from the audience and then improve on that. Um, in terms of receiving credit and you know the appropriate recognition, um, it depends on your team, to be very honest. Um, I've, I've been working with friends that I've made in university. We all, you know, managed to work in the same studio. <laughs> so being an audio engineer. Um, we've, we've all managed to get a place in the same workplace and it's, it's, easy that, it's easier that way to get the recognition and credit due because uh, everyone works together and uh, does their little part to, you know, add their own little element to the project. So I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I've, I haven't received credit where it's due. Being someone that's still, you know, working my way and making my name in the industry, uh, I think between, like, pick, if I had to pick between getting recognition and money, <laughs> I think it would be gathering enough experience to be able to make that money eventually. I think as you go through your career, there's stages in your career. Um, in the beginning, I would say the most important is getting experience and is getting as many, working with as many different artists and genres or films or whatever, whatever creative you're in, just doing as much as possible to gain more skill. Um, and then once you have skill, then it's about honing in your own sound. Um, well, in my field, Mark, having a signature sound which people know me for. And then I believe that once you got to that level, then again, the recognition will come. I always say that cream always rises to the top. So, um, yeah. I think I have established myself. I don't think yet, actually, but I'm on my way to um, establishing myself as um, a professional in the industry. Uh, by, I don't know, being there and being in the right place at the right time. Um, that's something I heard someone else say uh, when we asked them about how they you know, came about and uh, how they progressed in their career. Uh, and that's, they said, I, I was in the right place at the right time and I think things have just worked out for the better. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned earlier, just networking, getting yourself out there. 
uh, and doing the best that you can with every project that comes your way um, is something that can lead you to be better in what you do and show you, show others that you can do it. I think working with Ascribed was uh, probably one of the biggest highlights in my career as an audio professional. Uh, though I'm studying, I'm working as well at the site, so I guess putting in a lot of time to ensure that the end result uh, comes out beautifully. Uh, it's taken a lot of time from me, uh, from my friends and from my family as well. But uh, I'm thankful that they're all supportive so that you know the end result would be amazing and that we get a lot more creatives aware about what they're lacking in terms of uh, accreditation and uh, getting the rights that they deserve, basically. As creatives, we might or might not get credit for the work we do, but that isn't going to stop me, my team, or any other creative from following their passion. One thing all creatives have to understand that it is important to build a chemistry with people you work with. And I was blessed with not just a great team, but a family that I've grown up with. We are ascribed, and this is our story. i